Okay, <clears throat> this is extremely, extremely shiny now. And it is due to using a certain product. See how, see how shiny? Golly, that's like glass. Um, I bought this at Lowe's. This is glaze coat. Fa Famo wood glaze coat. You mix equal parts into a container, stir it. It says to stir it for about six minutes or until it gets to 90 degrees. I didn't temperature it. I just stirred it for six minutes. And then I poured it all over. I used a foam brush to kind of even it out and spread it out. And you can see where it kind of, you know, as it was dripping down, it dried. Not a big deal. But I think it turned out really fantastic. That's a beautiful piece of wood. Beautiful piece of cedar. Um, I went and saw Donna and Frank and they gave me a second piece of wood. And <clears throat> this is a bit darker than I got it. Um, I taped up one side. I'll lift this, well, maybe I lift it from the other side. Might be smarter. The wood smells incredible. If you've never smelled cedar wood, you gotta try it out. I've taped up this side to try and stop things from coming through because I don't want it to come through. Um, my thought process was I need to seal this wood. So I did seal it with some uh, Minwax polyurethane clear. Uh, I just put on a real heavy coat to kind of seal some of the wood. I might put on a second coat. I haven't even sanded this wood yet. This is exactly how it came. Um, but my thought process was I wanted to get some sealer in these cracks more than anything so that I could mix up some of this glaze coat and pour in those holes because I want those filled before I start sanding. I don't want to get a bunch of dust in there. I don't want to knock loose all these pieces that look like they're loose. I don't necessarily want those gone. Um, if that makes any sense. So... That's my plan. I'm gonna do it. If it turns out crappy, then I'll know not to do that in the future. But <clears throat> I'm sort of left unsupervised. So if I if I get into it and uh, mess up too bad, then oh well. Right? Yeah. All right, so uh, apparently there's a lot of cracks in here and what I put in the hole kind of leaked out a little bit and I was able to kind of get up and spread some more, but I'm gonna to have to let this dry as much as possible before I do anything else. Um, I did have the cracks filled here, the big ones, completely filled with that glass clear stuff and then it drained out. And um, I covered the rest of this with that uh, Minwax polyurethane uh, clear coat and I just kind of want to let this sit again I haven't sanded this yet this is just putting on the clear in the holes and putting on the urethane on top I just wanted to see how it looks if it if it's crazy I can just go back and and sand it but I'm kind of curious how it's gonna turn out if I don't do anything other than that. So, so yeah. So we're gonna wait and see what it looks like. All right, stay tuned for more. So this is the weird part about not having the Rambler here is I wouldn't be able to do this kind of work with it sitting here. Um, I do miss the car being here, but, but it's with dad, it's in a good place. And now I can do some woodworking. This is the piece that I had finished and this is the piece I'm working on. Uh, I have access to some more wood to do the legs and I just need to go make the trip and get it and then work on it from, from there. So anyway, got a little choked up all of a sudden. Oh, hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.